Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, I'm actually pretty surprised I haven't talked about this yet, at least not on this show. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the concept of blue or green screening. You know this effect very well, it is the weatherman effect and well the whole idea is you hang up a piece of blue or green cloth on a wall, then basically you stand in front of it and you do whatever you need to do and you film the whole process. But the question is, why do we do this and what is the purpose? Now, the idea is this. Basically, we want to shoot a person or whatever your subject is, but we want to replace the background image. To go back to the weatherman example, that is how you actually get the guy standing in front of a map that is computer generated. Now, of course, this process happens in editing, whether this editing happens live or is some kind of post-processing. The whole idea is, the program needs to know what to remove and what to keep. That is why we actually use a blue or a green screen in the first place. Essentially, your program identifies a color that it is supposed to treat as transparent. So for example, if I shot myself in front of a blue screen, basically I can tell my program to treat all the blue as transparent. So basically what this means is you keep everything that is not blue in a picture and everything that is blue, you can actually replace with your background image. Now calling it blue or green screening is your generic layman term. The proper name for it is a chroma key. Now, what does that mean? Chroma means color. And the reason why we call it chroma key should be immediately apparent. We are actually removing some parts of a picture based on its color. Normally the term keying is used with regard to removing certain parts of an image. That is why we call it chroma key, removing parts of an image based on its color. Now, why blue or green in particular? You see, these couple of colors tend to not be very present in the color of human flesh. And what this means is you have the least likelihood of accidentally removing any flesh colors. Of course, this doesn't mean that these colors will not appear in clothing. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing blue right now, which means if I try to key out something by standing in front of a blue screen, well, I'll key right through the shirt. And that's why it's important to pay attention to the clothes worn by the subject. Essentially, if they wear something that is the same color as the chroma key backdrop, that will not work. You will see transparent patches appear over the clothing. Well, basically, that's chroma keying in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something today. And until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV.